yes, with God. Thank you. Do you know that all those trouble mm. when you be talking the people they trouble all they trouble, trouble uh -uh. all these you do feel they call them to uh. some they call them just to make you feel frustrated uh -huh. and then, then they call them then they use all these people mm. and that they he could talk about yeah. them. If he uh, yeah. don't do it for us, yeah. he could return. So, but he could we don't do it for us. We don't do it for us. All those things. You could mm -hmm. enjoy the mm -hmm. peace. Peace of God. You could enjoy it. So, yeah, that is it. Okay. Thank you so much. We go only pray with you. And uh, because of. Uh, as a soldier, you want a native to go to the final lack, not to kick, to inhale. If you want to cook my hair, oh yeah, that is the Now that you talk to God, do still you know you can. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let that is well enough for God to express the happiness, the appreciation, the gratitude in our hearts unto you adequate. Father, but we want to say that we are grateful today for the love you have for my heart. It is not because we are holy. It is not because we are pure. It is not because we are the most dedicated to your work. But Father, because of the love you have for man. You demonstrated this love by your work of creation. By creating man, not in the image of wood, nor of animal, nor of bird. But you created man in your own personal image and likeness. What wonderful love. Father, we are grateful to you. That love that does not fail, oh God, is still on unto eternity. That love you showed for this our father and our mother, our brother and our sister, our uncle and our auntie today. Father, our hearts are filled with joy because you have given us every occasion to be joyful. Father, we are thanking you for their lives. It is not we that preached to them. You preached into their hearts. You only use us, O oh God, as broom. O oh God, it is not the broom that is used in sweeping the house that should be praised and thanked. But he that used the broom. Father, we thank you so much. We thank you for demonstrating your love towards them, for calling them unto you. Look at the story your son, our daddy has just given us. How in the face of all this trouble, that he narrated, community, everywhere, neighbor, nearby people, far away, oh God. Yet, he was not afraid that if, it, if I give up all these things, if I go to God now, would they not kill me like some people would be afraid? Out of ignorance, thinking that it was those things that were saving him. Little did they know that it was you that is saving them. 
father. This is a man according to him that stayed with marine devil in the water for days and months, weeks, years. Father, we now want to give up all those ones. And now know in the midst of all that, that there is one that is his own Savior, and that is Jesus Christ, and has now decided with all goodness to follow him. He has given up all those marine devils, all those charms, all those devils that he was relying on. Now we rely on you and you alone. Father, I pray that because you do not fail, Father, you will never fail them. Oh God, because you are God that has control over everything. All this wahala that they have been experiencing that made him to go deeper and deeper into idolatry. Father, shall from now this moment cease from their life Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. for the devil to threaten them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, be it any evil spirit in each of them right now. I command all evil spirits, that marine spirit, whether international marine spirit, whether local, whether state, whatever, global, whatever that spirit might be, I address you in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. that you be silent Amen. until you are thrown into abyss. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Have nothing to do with this man anymore. Has not, have nothing to do with the wife. Amen. Have nothing to do with the children. Amen. I bound you from their lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus is the Lord of all. Is the Lord, even of the law and of the covenant. You have no power other than the power of law and covenant. And the Lord of you all, by his name, I silence you Amen. forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I silence every trouble that might come against them every trouble that has been in their life before. Father, I bow them from them Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. By the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, I remove you and your wife and your children from the hands of the devil. Amen. From the hands of that marriage devil. Amen. From the hands of the wicked people of your community. Amen. From the hands of the every evil person. Amen. I hand you over unto Christ. Amen. That from now on, Christ shall uphold you. Amen. He shall be your protection. Amen. He shall guide you. Amen. He shall cover you. Amen. And in your going out and in your coming. Amen. Amen. And in your sleep, he shall be by you. Amen. And shall grant you holy sleep. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I set you free Amen. from all trouble Amen. and from the hands of every devil. Enjoy peace with Christ. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. Father, I promulgate a decree against every juju that he has committed himself unto the by law or by covenant. I promulgate
make a decree against them. That I rise against them by the, the Lord of laws and covenants. That all those laws and covenants that they shall hold against you remain quashed from today in your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. Remain cancelled from your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. No devil shall hold any law against you anymore. No human being, no wish or wizard in your family or outside your family shall be, old, shall be able to hold you by any law or by any covenant. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Lord, Lord, I Jesus. cover your children with the blood of Jesus. Lord, in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Papa, tell us your name and the manner we start by you, so. I am Mr. Mwachuku Hayford Mwachuku Onyeme, and this is my wife, Mrs. Victoria Mwachuku Onyeme. Okay. Hey, Papa, I see one other question. These things, where did the, the motor so? I see they say that the idols, idol thing. You don't renounce these things. I don't, I don't even live at now. Can be thrown to anywhere. Uh -huh. I'm for God. Yes. Okay, fine. So you believe say this is Jesus Christ, this is God, He go feel save you, That's He go feel protect you yes. and your family. Yes. I believe so. Uh -huh. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah.
once you bring that business to pass. We rely on you, Heavenly Father, that tonight will be greater than yesterday. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, mighty and living God, we lift up to you the program of this evening. Lord, once again, we possess this land for you. This ground on which we are standing, no demon can raise his head. No power can raise his head. Any power from any shrine, I silence you even at this moment. And I take authority over you today. I pray that in the name of Jesus, catch fire in the name of Jesus. I say catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let there be a free flow of traffic tonight. Let those you have a mark for your glory. Let them come forth today. And then your name will be glorified forever. We pray, oh Lord, that you have mercy upon us. Irrespective of anything that we might have done this morning. Whatever that we have done against your will. Even in our thought. Even in our words. In our character. Whatsoever that we have done that is not good your side have mercy upon us lord just magnify your name glorify your name tonight let there be honor and majesty be unto your name in jesus christ and on this lord i declare open this evening's program in the name of god the father god the son and god the holy spirit Thank you very much. We want to thank the people of uh, Amai that are here present. We want to thank you because you are wonderful people. Even yesterday at Ogume, the same character they demonstrated. So we came to the realization that God did not just send us to this land to preach the gospel. God has a purpose for sending us to this land. And the purpose for which God has sent us must be accomplished. Yesterday, they presented the general team of this crusade. And that general team is repentance and reconciliation with God. Yesterday, those who spoke define what is repentance. And the categories of people that need repentance. And the word of God taught us that every human being on earth has seen and has come short of the glory of God. It is for that purpose that God has sent us to Amai Anogume. That those of you who are doing certain things that are not right with God out of ignorance, we should tell you and you will, you, you will come out of there. When you look at the whole world today, terrible things that are happening. You see the high rate of kidnapping. The high rate of ritual killing. So many other terrible things that you know that are happening. We are even in the era where men are not marrying men. In other words, they are telling God that the way you created me, you created me, is faulty. I don't want it that way. They are telling God that this is our wanting. Women are also marrying women. And that is why we need the repentance. 
And the second man yesterday talk about the reconciliation. Oje ka bo gbara ni oku adoma gbo ni shoulder sempa aji ni tsuwari fo shani ni chukubi. And why we need the reconciliation? If e shi na da sempa se kanyi ni chukubi lo na rogba ma. God so love the people of this land. If o no na so chukubi gbo abo nda mai. And I'm happy many people responded to the, responded to the call yesterday. I first na nya ni na o ga nyo foro no kunu no na ekpobu sababu na masa. And we know that today going to be greater. Kete nda Therefore, the first speaker tonight is going to talk to us. Repentance and reconciliation with God. Is it necessary? That is, he's going to ask the question I give you answer. Why this short chorus will be going on? Our brother from Lagos should be getting ready to dwell on this topic. And we are still inviting our brothers of Amai and our sisters. Also, we are inviting our brothers of Amai. Wherever you are, please you come nearer. Here. The pastor we have brought to you is a wonderful pastor. When we visited your king, we visited your Kaluku at Ogume, uh, when we visited the king here, we told them that we have nothing to give to them. Because even if we drop 100,000, within one week that money is gone. Yeah. But something that is bigger than that 100,000 is what we brought to them. And that is the word of God. So wherever you are, please draw nearer. And you are going to be glad tonight that yes, you are one of the beneficiaries of the benefit of God. So our brother from Lagos to be getting ready while this short chorus will be going on. Hallelujah. I'm not 
opportunity. Yes. For you to end this year with this great crusade. Yes. But the question we are going to answer tonight will not determine if you will end this year with Christ or not. But before I go to that answer, I want to thank our leaders from the national president and every protocol observed. Amen. Amen. Can we just begin to wave hands to appreciate God of what God is doing already? Even without going to the scripture, you can see the Lord has begun His work. And that Lord has begun the work, was surely perfected. Hallelujah. Thou art walking. from heaven. Tonight, speak that word again to your children. The word that will pierce the heart, that will bring repentance, and Lord, they will not reconcile with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I decrease tonight. May you increase. In the name of Jesus, we speak to every familiar spirit. We command them to take bow in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, For in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Can the living so shout a powerful amen. amen? You are all blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. We have dwelt enough with the topic repentance and reconciliation. And you know, like now, no I, I just want to add this to it. Before repentance will come, there must be a belief. And when there is belief, repentance follows. After repentance, there comes reconciliation. All these three words, they are brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Amen. In summary, belief is something that needs to do with trust. You need no argument. You claim it at his said. And that is belief. And repentance is just total positive change. And when we are talking about reconciliation, it's settlement or settlement dispute between two people. And agree together to Better things. Hallelujah. Amen. And when we are talking about repentance and reconciliation with God, 
If you don't know somebody, you cannot reconcile with him. But because our God is a big God, He is the one that created you. That is why we must reconcile with him. And the question before us tonight, that I will settle in a few minutes, the question, repentance, reconciliation, is it necessary? I will answer them in two ways. The first one is yes. Is yes. Is yes. And the second part, for those who say no, they will receive it. But the expression of yes, the first point you must note that that man that is saying you should reconcile with is he that created you? Is he that can direct your life? Is the author and the finisher of your faith? That is why your answer is yes. You need to reconcile with him. Is he that said tonight when you sleep? Tomorrow there is hope. The man that has your destiny. The man who can do all things. Without seeking authority from anyone, that is the God. That is why you need to reconcile with Him. You have no power of your own. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you believe that you must reconcile with God? Is it necessary now? It is necessary. Because when you sleep tonight, you never. But that God is he that keepeth you. That is why that God that keepeth Israel will never sleep nor slumber. He had the final say about your life. That is why reconciling with God is his necessary. Hallelujah. Amen. Number two, reconciling with God is necessary. There is a love relationship he has established before now. That is why he sent his only son Jesus Christ to die, to break that yoke of separation. He said, For all have seen and the assured of glory of God. But tonight, he said, Come and reconcile with me. He's Come! Let us establish a relationship again. That is why you must reconcile. That's why you sin. You were very far away from him. That is why the Bible says the eye of the Lord is so pure to behold iniquity. But because of his death, that yoke is broken. It's coming, it's coming you now. Come unto me. You are having a lady? Are you carrying yoke? He will take them from you to establish a fresh relationship so that you will not be condemned. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is a mercy. The glory is lost. The glory is lost. That wonderful name. Jesus, are you there? That wonderful name. Oh, Jesus. Hey. That wonderful name. Jesus. There is no other name I know. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me?
John. Number four. God wants you to reconcile with him. So that the devil that stands in between you and him. That is why John 10 verse 10. I long and be of him. He said, when you reconcile with him, you will have life. And you cannot have life. That is one of the reasons why it is necessary to repent, reconcile with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you people of our mind, you have opportunity to come to Jesus tonight. Today is your day. He has extended the hand to steal, to destroy. Why? For you to repent, reconcile with God. Hallelujah. Number five. Number five. To escape God's judgment. There is judgment. Judgment is coming. And this is it. We are saying it's an adverse season. Adverse season. Jesus is coming back again. He's coming back again. He has come before. What is he coming back to do? He's coming to John. That is why you must reconcile, repent, and come to God. This microphone, please, somebody walk up. Don't prepare the place. The last day, he will be there. And you will be with him. You have repented. You have reconciled with him. Say, where I will be, there shall you be also. Say, if it is not so, I would have told you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That is the first part. Because of time, it's okay. But those who say it is not necessary. It is not necessary. To reconcile with God. When they are for to go. Listen. Let God take. Number one. God. Number one. God. There is an identity God has given every man. But it is pity. Oh, you can't do this. Our character. Our attitude. If I know the way we behave. Has made that identity of God to change in our lives. Satan not keep in. He not give everybody. Satan. Identification number. number. Hallelujah. What do I call it? Satanic identification number. Sin. S I N. Sin. Hallelujah. Amen. If you refuse to reconcile with God, then the devil will not come again. Superimposes. Before it was really a small letter. But now it has been changed to uppercase, capital letter. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why the Bible says in Isaiah 59, verse 2. God I you know not blind. In mouth. You know dead. You know dumb. You know dead. But there is something that has between us. That is what? Satanic identification number. Somebody say, I wipe it away from my life. Oh, say, I wipe it away from my life. God will give you no
number. Now we give you a number. That is why the Bible says in Ephesians 17. Say for henceforth, let no man troubles me. For I bear on me and in me mark of when you have that mark. You cannot have that, Michael. Only what? You repent. You do what? Repent. And reconcile with. Repentance is not today. I come here. In the secret, I go back. No. 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 Once you have repented. Deeply, what is repentance? Fini remorse. Fini regret. Of the wrong you have done. Hallelujah. Any man that repents, you will see the mark in him. He will be remorseful. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So today, if you say no, enjoy. It is not necessary. There is a mark written on you. And that mark, that mark, will make God to deny you your privileges. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can somebody read Matthew chapter 6, verse 36? I'm rushing because there's no time. Hallelujah. Matthew 6, 36. Are you there? Matthew 6, 26. Genesis 12, verse 3. All right. Oh God, do not go to Russia. Follow it systematically. Let me hear you, sir. Look at the birds of the earth. Look at the birds that are not created in the image of God. Oh, she said, no, no. Not the fair they know. Yes. They do not sow or reap. They well, never cultivate. Where we go? Where we go? Or store away in banks. They have no store. They have no warehouses. Where we go? Where they may live. And yet your heavenly Father feeds them. No. Are you not much more? Look at that one. Much more valuable than. Are you here, my people? Are you here, my people? Look where God has blessed one. Yes. Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Some people will be beating their chest. I have all this. Now I see second The privilege is God has given unto you. How many of you are she your malone? Add what? A single hour to his life. A single hour to you see. Which means the owner of your life is who? Uh, are you following me? Are you following me? I don't have bloody time. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are not ready to repair. We will do everything possible. Today, even the Christendom, even the Christendom, praise God. Do you hear, do you hear it now? How do they call it? Oh, wonderful. What a good language. Amen. Sound? Quack, quack. Amen. Say, if a quack, quack. If a quack, quack. Uh -huh. I speak English, then you speak your language. Amen. Can you see it now? If all these things, they are the things that are carrying us away from the law. Oh, she quack, quack, did you get it? We found out that finding a suchuku. This day, party everywhere. In Ross, so so. Amen. And Kara fake and original. Oh, say quack, I don't know why. So that's what people will be running after. Ya condemn our non abbas of this. He said, let God be there. He said, how many of you can add one hour to your life? 
another question. Go ahead, my brother. Go ahead, my brother. See how the lilies of the feet grow. See the, the, the grasses. See the grasses. Oh, Look see. at the word. The Lord oh, has given them the privilege to grow. Yes. They do not labor or spin. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor. God will bless you, sir. <laughs> you will be great in Jesus' name. Amen. Which means the one read on to. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, if you say no, you will repent. You will reconcile with God. I tell you, your name is Mr. Or sister. Sister. Or brother. Brother. Sorry. Sorry. What do I say? Sorry. What do I say? Sorry. But that will never be your name in Jesus' name. Yeah. Wish me the privileges God has for you. You deny them. You will never see. And finally, eternal condemnation. That person has written his or her will already. Said the plan that is conducive for me is hellfire. That is why many people, when they hear the word of God like this, when it entering through the right ear, they will go to the left. Because they have not made their, their mind to repent and reconcile with God. But tonight, I have given you two answers. Which one is yours? Which one is yours? Are you feeling remorse now? Or is there anything you have telling you? These people, they are just wasting their time. You better rebuke that voice. You better rebuke that voice. You people of our mind. Very soon I will drop the microphone. Begin to move closer. Begin to move closer. Begin to move closer. Because that God that owns your life. That owns your land. That owns your beauty. That is why the Bible says God is not interested in the death of a sinner. But for that sinner to repent. To do what? To repent. And come unto him. There is a song that we used to sing. Duro Demi. Duro Demi. Duro Demi. from Russia to Amai village now. Amen. Amen. You people of Amai, tonight is your time. Forget about your father. Forget about your mother. Forget about your daughter. The race is individual. Tonight, the world, the world is knocking at the door of your heart. Have you ready? Have you made up your mind? To open the heart. That is why the scripture says Jesus is standing by the door. And the word that we are speaking tonight is knocking the door. It's knocking the door. It's knocking the door. And the Bible says when you open it, Jesus comes in. And he will dwell with you. No, no, and he will eat. You will not Tomorrow is telling you, I see have room. 
large room mighty room wonderful room spacious room gracious room is a wonderful God that God the God of beginning and the ending that God is God it is necessary. It is necessary and reasonable for a wise man, for a wise man to hear the word and turn and say, Yes, Father, I hear the voice. Here am I. Here am I. Isaiah heard the word. Isaiah heard the word. Isaiah heard the word. When he turns to God, Isaiah said, I saw the glory of God. Where was Isaiah this day? Isaiah has been there. There's something happened. When Isaiah made up his mind, Uzziah died. Uzziah died. I prophesy to somebody that is here tonight. Every king Uzziah that is standing up here alive, that is not making you to see that God. the Lord. Oh, my lips are dirty. My hands are dirty. Lord, I come unto you. Say, here am I. Send me. Are you here tonight? Have you made up your mind? Have you made up your mind? The Bible says, the world will not come to God. The world must come to fulfillment. The people of Amai, the world has come tonight. My plan is to answer the question. Why the next person will do the altar call? Hallelujah. As I worship God now, the choir, are you there with me? Are you there? Yes. He's Lord. He is Lord. Oh my 
come and tell me the meaning of this one, please. The meaning of this one. Yeah, 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 yeah
As we dance, as we the honor you, let the 
run into this arena to say I give my life to God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Your heart together. Praise the Lord. Waiting with the talk so. It's just a small thing. The preaching they tell us. They say the thing where you they do for secret. Where you know, say, if you come out, people could be ashamed of you. If you just drop her. Just drop her. If man no know. God no say you did do that. That simple thing just drop out. Then come to Jesus. My brother just talk about repentance. Repentance they need to salvation. Let me, let me give you a story of a boy. Why this story they go on? The people of Amai. I want you to call me. Listen, let me introduce something. The people we are calling their three category. One. And never serve God at all. Two. I served God before. They call fed me for a sad judge. My mama died, they know as of me. So they are put on me, I seek, they knock on. Today, now your day. Three. I like this spiritual work. Whether you be Baptist, whether you be Pentecostal, whatever you do, you, you want to join these people to the go crusade. These are the as I tell this story, so just the walking. This three groups, anywhere you belong, this three category. Not be you, you are already seated. You are already seated. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a Calabar boy. They serve in his master's house. They be very respectful. But when the devil enter into him, he begins to admire the master's wife. So he started watching this woman. Anywhere the madam they go, they go with her. So one day the madam passed you around in a particular place. Waiting that the day say, Come out your hands so that they talk. So. After they got home, this Calababa came back again and packed the Uran of a madam. Took it and make a concoction with it. He rubbed it to the madam. As soon as this thing affect the madam, the mother begin mess up with a houseboy in the house. Waiting that they tell you be safe. If you they do anything for secret, if any non the men in Zuzo, any turn I come down my mare, the tea called they known to be. And you will be ashamed of such a thing. Drop that 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 
This is what we are just telling you. This is the message. So this Calabar boy called the mess up with the master's wife. One day, this man, this woman met with the man of God. And told her, say, you have a problem, and the problem is a secret one. My dad not get any problem. You see, you have a problem. The problem is a secret. The problem is between you and your husband. The devil is not blame you. The devil is not you. He told him that the boy your urine and make a cockroach with you. Say right from that day you started messing up with this boy. Anything where you they do when it bad. talk Just drop an anchor. This thing, if it happens, something bad will be. Just call. As the story they go, no delay at call. Just call. And my people come here. Just call. Boys and girls. Women, father, mothers, run down here. Today is your time. So to shorten the story, the man of God told him, we are going to pray that by the time you get home, you will see what I am talking about. God of Israel will give you time. We pray with this young one. Father, we call upon you. You said you were going to address you. You want to change. You want to change the foundation of this land. You said that the spirit of hunger. Yeah, he told us in Ogume. Say in Ogume, there is a spirit of hunger in one of the several quarters. And he's using it, he's using it on other quarters. He said they go kill, they go kill, kill the other quarter people, then they, they, they serve their juju. And you said that that power will end after this crusade. Father, I pray with this your son. That spirit of hunger will never come close to you. Amen. We pray with this word, oh God, that from today, spirit of hunger, go out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, save this young one and make a new foundation for a good man and our mind. In the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son. And God the Holy Spirit. They come, oh, just they come. No, it's your turn. Just they come. So they pray with the madame. And he left for home. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When madame drove home. Security open. Madame came out of her car. The car spirit, Madame came for that boy. No longer there. And Madame started calling the boy. Be who? Now the boy jump from corner to corner. totally. Now waiting I do my cousin. Waiting I do my cousin. Now waiting I do my cousin. They open gate for her. Waiting I do my cousin. Waiting I do my cousin. Now that. Take come up for the cup. 
I want to tell you something. That whatever you are doing in the secret, the day where you go come out, people will be ashamed of you. You have opportunity today. You have opportunity today. Just roll down here. As people are coming, don't delay. Don't delay. Come here. And my people, boys and girls, women, fathers and mothers, this is your day. Roll down here. As this chorus will be coming, I want to see you running. In the name of Jesus Christ, prayer will be offered upon this land today.
shout hallelujah. At a place called Ubore. Ubore. Hey, men are pursued the care. Quick, quick. Fast people follow. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So at a village called Ubore. Ubore. And when I was doing the altar call, there was an advanced man moving around the arena. After we ran up the arena, after we closed the altar call, the man came to me. He said, Now what? Hello, it will go. This is not Juju struggle. He said, Yes. He said, Yes. He said, Yes. He said, As you just entered the thing they called, I wanted to change your talk before. Now, now Juju just called. He called stand on top of Una. With fan in his hand. He said the juju was just doing like this. He said it when he threw it the He said the juju struggle. And the juju no yiboma. Hallelujah. I said, Papa. Papa. I said the man where we go preach to you soon. He said that he come. He said that he come. Now that man where you talk say Jesus. Oh no 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 Jesus. He said eh. Eh? Jesus, you miss it. I said before we reach there, it does settle matter. Give your heart to God. Before we reach there, it does settle matter. As I'm talking with you, he's present here. He did whip the fan. Lift up your two hands. Say, Baba God, you do well. Baba, you do well. Lift up your hands and say, Bless God, bless God, bless God. Begin to bless the man. Begin to bless that God. That go with us. That go before us. That settle issue before we got there. Raise your hand. As we are waving our hand, you are still there. You are not giving your life to cry. You are a Christian. You want to join this group. To the next crusade, you will be there. Run that year. Hey, they offended you before. You don't call the go church again. Run that year. Today, not your day. Oh, you never go church at all. Run that year. Run that year. As we are waving our hand, don't delay. Just the run that year.
Father, we give you a chance. There is this chance for you. Even when the juju is being born, you see her chance to run that year. Where be you more can I go? More can I wake up? What do I go back? What do I? I'm going to see John the King. We're in the year for Nakatuku. Babo Saibena. Father, we thank you for your mercy. Father, we thank you for your presence in our midst. We thank you for the for the cloud of your glory. Receive all thanks in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. God is God. This crusade was specially organized by God himself. Our own. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Like as I said earlier on, pick away these bottles. I discussed with. Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 